documents reveal that other cargo doors opened inward, so the plane's internal pressure helped jam the door into its frame. But the cargo door on the 747 opened outward, allowing for more cargo space, but requiring a more robust locking system to handle the pressure. What they do is they build in multiple redundancies to make sure the door is properly latched and does not open. Uh, and you, you build it in to a point of, uh, that it's extremely improbable that the door would ever open. So what went wrong with Flight 811? Kevin Campbell thought the problem lay in the design of the locking mechanism. To lock the cargo door on the 747, electric motors rotate C-shaped latches around pins in the door frame. A handle then moves arms known as locking sectors over the top of the C-latches to prevent them from reopening. Kemble, an engineer by training, built a model to approximate the Boeing design. Initially, the, the locking sectors were made in aluminium, and in 1975, Boeing realized that they weren't strong enough, and they actually doubled up the aluminium to make it double thickness. But it still wasn't uh, strong enough, and a lot of the airlines didn't even put the doublers on anyway. He thought the weakness of the aluminum increased the risk of the door accidentally opening. With the aluminum locking sectors, if the sea locks tried to backwind, open electrically, it would just push the locking sector out of the way. It just simply wasn't up to the job that it was designed for. If Campbell was correct, this could happen again, and more lives were at stake. Campbell suspected an electrical fault. It had a fault in the S2 master latch lock switch that should have turned off the power to the, uh, the door when the outer handle was closed. When the outer handle was closed, the S2 master lock switch was meant to disconnect the power supply and stop the sea latch motors from turning. So could this have failed, allowing the motors to open the door? Boeing asked the airlines to do a simple test, close the outer handle, then press the switch to open the door. It should remain closed, but in some cases, the door tried to open. When they hit the switch, it actually worked. The Boeing thought, you know, this is not gonna work, um, but it actually worked. There was power to the, the door locks with the, uh, with the outer handle closed, and the lock started to move, and it started to force the locking sectors out of the way. And uh, a few days later, the airline started ringing in and saying it was damaging their planes. So Boeing stopped the test, but it meant that on those aircraft, the S2 switch had failed, which is a silent failure and all of those aircraft were, were likely to have the same problem as A11. They were just waiting for a short circuit to open the doors. The Campbells now became convinced that the accident on Flight 811 began with a failure of the S2 switch. Power remained on to the sea latch motors. All it might take would be a short circuit in an aging plane's wiring to start the motors up. The aluminum locking sectors would be too weak to stop the latches turning, and the cargo door could burst open. 